Hi, my name is Katie Malone. I'm the Curator of Academic Programs at the McClung Museum at the University of Tennessee in Knoxville. And I'm going to teach you how to read an object. I'm going to start with the three-dimensional object. Um, and I'm working from home, so I'm using objects out of my own personal collection. So the first thing I would do if we were in person, or even here now, um, is I would tell you to look very closely at this object. Take in information about it. Act like a detective. See what you observe. So some things I'm noticing. First I notice that it's a basket. Of course, let's state the obvious. And then I notice that it has these ribs, these really strong rib lines. And since this is my object, I'm gonna to touch it without gloves. You know, that's a museum no-no. You can see how these ribs follow all the way around. Now let's talk about what this basket is made out of. What does that look like to you when you look closely at it? To me, it looks like it's made out of like a straw, something thin, not, not like a thick vine, but a straw. Also, you can see that there's like this banding happening. These darker stripes that have been put in with the more pale ones. And then there's this little nice dark swirl in the bottom. So now that we've made some good observations, the next thing I would ask you, or that I am gonna ask you, is to take those observations and figure out what they make you think about. What do they remind you of? What do you think this object is for, based off of your observations? So, um, because we noticed these pretty waves and this ribbing, my guess is that this is an object that is uh, maybe made for decoration. It's not really that big either, so maybe it, um, it kind of looks like one of those fruit bowls that maybe your grandmother would have in the middle of her table. So this, this ribbing reminds me of a couple of different things. First, it kind of makes me think of those graphs that you'd see in trigonometry class, you know, those um, in math, because they're really precise. And there are four of them and they're very even. They also kind of remind me of something liquidy or watery, like maybe those uh, fish with little gills that move. Maybe that's just me but they kind of remind me of something, something soothing and organic like waves. I'll finish out by telling you a little bit about this object in particular, and we'll see how well our observations did for us. So this object was made by an artist named Barbara McCormick, who's a Gullah artist out of South Carolina. And in the Gullah tradition, sweet grass baskets, like this one, have a long history within their community. So there was a lot that we could figure out just by paying attention to what this object is and just by really taking it in. And you can take those lessons and apply them to just about anything. If you just really slow down and observe the elements and um, the materials out of which something is made, you can figure a lot out about an object. So thank you for joining me as we did a little reading about this object, and I hope that you take this lesson and apply it to something in your own home. This is Katie Malone, Curator of Academic Programs at the McClung Museum here in Knoxville, Tennessee. See you next time.